this was a very satisfying furniture makeover. I found this or chest of drawers at a thrift store. And as you can see from the beginning photo, it was all by itself and it looked like quite the orphan. I took it home and here I am applying the first of two coats of Dixie Belle chalk mineral paint in the color Sawmill Gravy. I'm not particularly fond of that name, but the color itself is beautiful. So two coats and I was ready to go ahead with the second process, which is adding clear and dark wax onto the detail to make the detail pop. If you would like to see how I create a super smooth finish with my chalk paint, please check out my video list and I have an entire video on the process. You can see here how beautiful the detail of this piece is and I am applying the paint liberally all over the detail to um, get good coverage before I go ahead with the waxes. I first apply the clear wax, which is Dixie Belle's Best Stang Wax in Clear, and I apply this all over the piece. It's necessary to add the clear wax over the piece before applying the dark wax, otherwise the dark wax will just stain your paint. This way you can control the dark wax when you put it on. So apply the clear wax first, then you apply the dark, and you can use the clear wax to wipe off the dark if you put too much on. The wax will also seal your paint and create a more durable finish. I really enjoy using wax to create different looks on my pieces. I like to add paint to the clear wax to create color waxes. I like to mix the dark and the um, clear as you can see on this piece to give depth to the piece. Um, and I generally use wax more than any clear coat just because I find it to be more artistic of a medium to work with. So here I am using the dark wax. I apply it with a brush and get it right into the detail and then I use a rag to wipe it back and I continue doing that until I get it to the point where I'm happy. I'm also going to use the black or dark wax, sorry, actually this is brown wax, um, on the corners of the drawers, around the edges, and also around the edges of the top of the piece and the side panels. And here she is. I call her she because I find her to be very elegant. I think her detail really pops with the use of the wax. I also use gold gilding wax um, in some places to give her a little bit more glam and to really make the details pop. So the gold gilding wax was used on the side detail and a little bit around the drawer corners. And the last touch was adding new hardware. I think that this thrift store orphan became a true elegant beauty and I am very happy with the result. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you.